everybody, this is the Bat Hound, sniffing out the best ASA softball bats there are. I'm here today to bring you a bat review of the Boomba Boss. This is the first responders version. Uh, now this is still in the wrapper, so we are going to unwrap it and put some cuts on it and give some initial impressions here. So let's take this wrapper off. Like I've said before with these unwrappings, this is where I get real nervous because you only get one shot at the video here. I can already see just the feel. I really like it. It's like kind of like a brushed paint. Just feels nice. Nice looking bat here. Almost looks too nice to swing, but got to swing it. All right, well, this is the first Boomba bat that I have ever swung. Two-piece bat. If you go on their website, you'll notice that they have a lot of different looking bats. Uh, to my understanding, they're all the same, except for the paint, as well as some of them have end load and some of them don't. Uh, this uh, seemed to be a real balanced bat here. It has medium flex handle and what they call compressor T3 technology which is basically inner core technology. Uh, it says it has twin tubes. Now the finish on the paint that I noticed right away uh, must be what is called the X15 flight technology, which they say is to increase backspin on the ball to get increased flight. Brand new on the Boomba site of $150. Uh, used, I'm guessing here, anywhere from $100 to $130. In terms of looks, a uh, really nice looking bat, I like that, uh, felt great in the hands, uh, except for my liking, I, I felt it was a little almost too balanced, and just felt like it swung really light, so I had to get used to that a little bit. But I tell you what, for $150 brand new, I was very impressed with the pop of this bat. It definitely got better as I went along, but even right out of the wrapper, I was pretty happy with it. What I couldn't figure out in my research was whether this is a 2017 or 2018 bat. The website makes it look like it's 2017, but they're obviously all new on the website. I don't know. But what I can say is this. If you are looking for a new in wrapper bat that is relatively inexpensive, this is a great find. If you were looking to spend that kind of money and were open to buying a used bat, there would be other ones I'd probably point you to first, but for a new bat, uh, this was outstanding. But I would definitely encourage you to pay attention to the weight distribution when ordering. Uh, this one felt very balanced to me. If you like an end load, be sure to order one that says end load uh, on the site. All right, well, there's 15 of the first swings. I would have to say even those last four, it just felt different. Uh, so it feels pretty good out of the wrapper. Put some more cuts on it. Try to get it against one of my other bats. And I'll give you some final th thoughts at the end. All right, was able to get some more swings on the Boom Boss. Was getting it up against the Monster OG DNA, each getting 20 swings. Uh, both of them so far had 15. Got to hit the pavement for a point. Uh, so far, the Boom Boss has eight. Monster DNA has nine. Both have five less left. Let's see who can win it. Challenger goes first with the Boom Boss with eight. That should be nine. That's nine. That's 10. No, short. Come on, Boomba. That's 11. That's 12. All right, Monster DNA. Oh, Monster DNA with nine. Three to tie. Well, that's 10. That's 11. That's 12. Tie game, one to win it. Oh, short. Last swing. Got it done. Well, it was a good challenge from the Booba Boss. Monster DNA still held it, but the boss is looking real good. 
This is the Bat Hound. Everyone signing up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel here. Check out some other videos here. Thanks, everybody.